Hello fellow duelists, this is Shadow of the Moon, and I was going to make this video, but after having a few requests on it, I decided to go ahead and, what the hell say, I'm going to go ahead and make this kind of video. So, this video is just going to show you a couple combos with the deck and test hands and everything to be able to show you how to play with the new Blackwing support that came out a few uh, about four or five months ago now in Darkwing Blast. So, basically, in a nutshell, Blackwings play... The exact way black wings play the exact same way throughout for each combo um the main objective is to be able to have zephyrus the elite black wing the dragon black for the whirlwind black whirlwind have uh sudri and then have Saibun and vata so mainly that is going to be your starting field so you're going to build up on that field and then from there you're going to go into multiple multiple plays so i'm actually going to show you today with a couple test hands, how to actually achieve all of that. So, all right. So I hope you're enjoying all the deck profiles and everything. Like I said before, I don't normally do this because normally um, I usually do the two card combo videos, but I thought this would be kind of a fun thing to do today, especially for players and everything for you to learn the deck a little bit more. This is the extra deck right here, the red sleeves. So let's go ahead and shuffle the deck. So mainly, uh, it's easy to play around Nib, uh, playing around Nibiru, especially in this format. It's not hard to do because you literally have, uh, even with having Vata or having Sudri or something, you can easily play around the actual Nibiru card and still go into Borlod Savage Dragon and go into your copy of Kali Yuga on the second turn. So that is not something that you ever have to worry about. So I'm going to shuffle the deck. I already did. So now we're going to draw three, two, three three, four, and five, so, this is going to be your starting hand, I'm going to go ahead and bring over, oh, walk over here for a second, so you actually can see it a little better, all right, so, that was my foot, if you've seen it, I apologize, all right, so, not the worst hand, actually, um, so you can still play with, even with this in your hand, uh, you just won't be able to, uh, go into like the full combo but i'm gonna go ahead and show you anyway so first you're gonna activate a lore of darkness this is going to allow you to draw two cards from the deck and you're going to banish one so you're gonna go ahead and banish steam okay so now you banish steam now you're going to summon your sudri sudri's effect activates and this is going to allow you to search your deck for a black wing monster. So obviously you're going to want to search for your copy of Shamal. Because Shamal is going to be the MVP of the deck. Then you're going to special summon Vata. Discard Shamal using its effect to activate Black Whirlwind directly from your deck. Black Feather Whirlwind directly from your deck. And you're going to be playing it. Okay. So now you're going to tribute Vata with its effect. And this is going to allow you to... Special summon your Black Winged Dragon by getting rid of Hamartin and getting rid of Zephyrus the Elite. Okay? So now you're going to go in your copy of Black Winged Dragon, and here you go. You got your copy right here. So this is your graveyard still. This is your banished zone, and then this is this. And then this effect will activate since you special summon Black Winged Dragon, which will then allow you to add your Vata back to the field. Okay? Then you're going to bounce back Black Feather Whirlwind to Special Summon Zephyrus the Elite. And you do not take any damage because of uh, Black Wing Dragon's effect. Make sure you play Black Feather Whirlwind immediately after. I cannot stress that enough. Um, that's the biggest issue I've noticed with a lot of Black Wing players. It is so easy to forget to play this card right after Zephyrus the Elite gets bounced back. And without it, this the deck doesn't really function. You can't get in the combos that you're wanting. Alright, so now, you're going to take this, Vata and Sudri, and you're going to Link Summon for Notham the Starlight. Okay, you've got Notham the Starlight. Now you're going to activate this effect. This is going to allow you to Special Summon Steam, so keep Steam in the Cloak. Now you've got Steam the Cloak. Alright, so now this will allow you to burn 800 points of damage. You're going to activate Sudri's, uh, you're going to activate uh, 
Shamal's effect, banish Shamal, and this will allow you to add back Sudri from your deck to your hand, okay? So now you've got your Sudri's back to your hand, so this will go back here. Then you have Sudri. Normal summon Sudri using its effect, so then Black Feather Whirlwind will activate, and this will get you your Twin Shadow, so make sure you got your Twin Shadow with you. Alright, so now we're going to get Twin Shadow, because this is really going to help you go into Full Armor Master. Alright, so now you've got Zephyros, you've got this, you've got Sudri. So now, what you're going to want to do is, you're going to want to take Zephyros, and you're going to want to take your Nothrum, the Starlight. This is going to Link Summon for your copy of Y Strix. Okay, you got your copy of Y Strix. Alright, now Y Strix effect will activate. This will get you your... Make sure you grab Raider's Wing because honestly, this is what's going to help you go into your plays. Uh, so you're going to have Raider's Wing right here. Okay. So now you've got Raider's Wing, you got Wise Strix. And then what you're going to do is you're going to send these and you're going to uh, send these to the graveyard for your copy of. City and Tamer Hawk Joe. Okay. Now you've got Tamer Hawk Joe. Then what you can do is this will create a token. So we're going to grab the token real quick from the extra deck. Okay. So then what you're going to do is you're going to take Blackwing Dragon and you're going to take Rusty Bart each. And you're going to link summon your copy of Rusty Bart each. Okay? So now this is what your field's going to look like. It's definitely not over yet. So now what I'm going to do is you're going to play Twin Shadow. Twin Shadow is going to allow you to special summon a Blackwing monster from your extra deck using monsters in your graveyard so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to send back that vada and send back that sudri in order to summon your copy of boreas the wicked wind okay and this will allow you to send back zephyros the elite and send back vata so vata this all right so you're gonna send these back you got this Uh. So do not activate its effect. Um, I'm saying that so that way you don't activate the effect of it. Do not let keep it a level six because then you can take your tune. You can take this and take your uh, token, and this is going to go to the graveyard. This is going to special summon your copy of either right here the rain shower for most of your blackwing players, or you're going to special summon your copy of blackwing armor master. So now you got that. Now, you're going to take these two, and you're going to send these to the, send these, uh, Link Summon for your copy of Kali Yuga, or not Kali Yuga, sorry, Arsenal Falcon, you will eventually get Kali Yuga. Um, it's whether or not you want to choose to activate the effect of this to blow this off up so you get three negates, because when you're going into Kali Yuga next turn, this material is going to get destroyed and banished anyways, so it doesn't really matter. So then you're going to detach a material to special summon your copy of Chinook. Okay. Go ahead and get rid of Boreas and Blackwing Dragon. And that's going to allow you to go into your copy of your Blackwing Assault Dragon. So you got that, that on the field, okay? Alright, so now you got that. Then you're going to send these two to the graveyard. This is going to go into your copy of Borload Savage Dragon. Activate Borload's effect. This will equip your Y-Strix to it, so now you have your negate. 
And then you're going to activate Raider's Wing from the graveyard, detach a material from Raider's Wing to special summon this back to the field. It doesn't really matter um, if you had otherwise, you know, since the hand that I had pretty much made it to where I was going to have that open field, but this will be your ending field. So you got your negate, you've got this. So then what you're going to want to do is you can set your infinite imperm and you can set your phantom right knight's rank up force. Uh, and now you're going to pass turn. Obviously main phase two, they activate a card or effect. Vorlook Savage Dragon, negate the effect. And then you're going to flip over your copy of rank up. And then you're going to rank up using this and this. And this is going to go into your copy of your Kali Yuga. All right, so now negated everything on the field. And then this would get destroyed. So then next turn, you could play if you drew a card or whatever you could play. And depending on what you had, you could add a second Black Wing Assault uh, Dragon. Or you could play into Armor Master. So that's going to be it for the first combo video that I'm showing you. Now we're going to move on to the second one. I'm only probably going to do two of these just because of the uh, length of the videos. These They tend to be quite long because Black Wings tend to uh, have a lot of different combos. So as a result, it's gonna it takes a lot longer to get some of these set up. So we're going to just go ahead and move on to the second one. All right. I'm going to put these back in the extra deck. So as you can see, Black Wings are very easy to play with. There's, it's very, very combo reliant, very he combo heavy, but you're going to be doing a lot of move, turns and stuff going on, and it's very easy to it went, to get play around Nib, especially if someone Nibiru's you, or they play around you. I mean, obviously, if someone plays Lava Golem or if they play Raw Spear Mode, there's not really going to be a whole lot that you can do about that. Um, it's You're going to get decimated either way uh but i'm noticing a lot of people especially on posting up on like twitter or posting up on like threat the uh, threads that i go to and stuff that a lot of aren't people playing raw spear mode i mean i think they should considering kshatriya is a thing now and it is actually pretty bad four or five all right so we're gonna do that all right So that's the extra deck. This is going to be your hand. So not the best, but you could still play with it. Um, see, the great thing about Black Wings is there's always a way to be able to play with the deck. Even if you get the worst hand possible, you could still play with it. So what you're going to do is you're going to play a Lore of Darkness. This is going to allow you to draw two cards from the deck. And this is going to allow you to banish one. So we're going to banish Raider's Wing. And if you get something like this, that's fine there is still a way to play around it it's pretty uh, uh it's pretty difficult but <coughs> actually to be honest with you that's just a bad hand altogether i don't think there's even a way to play around that considering this was the only black wing that you got and this is actually your lowest level one at 100 attack points so you can't even search for anything at that point so if that was the case, if you're allowed to mulligan, you could mulligan, but normally this deck does not get hands that bad. That was pretty bad. And I was gonna try I was gonna try for it. I really was, but after I saw that it, I forgot that it only had a hundred attack points, there's no way to search for the deck. There's no way to do anything for it. So from there you pretty much kinda have to, you know, either give the game loss to your opponent or you're gonna have to ask them if they're nice. Hey, can I shuffle again? So we're going to try this again, and hopefully not get a hand like that, because that was actually pretty bad. And if you had Pot of Prosperity, you could have actually played around that, because you could have banished the cards that you needed and still been able to go into Borlo Borload Savage Dragon and Kali Yugo without having to worry about it. But since you're only able to draw two, you can't really do anything at that point, so... All right, so this is a weird hand, but we're gonna try it anyways. So you're gonna play a Lore of Darkness, draw two, banish one. So we're going to banish. Uh, I'll banish Radion just for now for this just for this video. You're going to play Black Warwind. You're gonna normal summon Vata, activate. Black Whirlwind's effect. This is a 800, so you can grab a monster that has a lower attack than that and add it to your hand. 
So then you can special summon, or not special summon, you can add your Aroshi the Squall from your deck to your hand. So this is going to be going a little bit different, and I'm going to show you actually still be able to have a pretty good field with just this. Then you're going to special summon Aroshi the Squall, and then you're going to special summon Vata with its effect. Activate Vata's effect, you're going to send this to the graveyard. This is going to allow you to send Zephyrus the Elite. And Hamart in the Dust. So Zephyros. And then we're going to send Hamart in the Dust to the graveyard. This in turn will allow you to play your Black Wing Dragon. All right, you got your Black Wing Dragon. You got Vata, you got that. Okay. So then what you can do is you can bounce Black Feather Whirlwind back to Special Summon, or Black Whirlwind to Special Summon Zephyrus the Elite. This is still your hand. Then you're going to replay Black Whirlwind. Oh wait, I actually put with my graveyard, no. So one, two, there, there we go. All right, so this is going to be your hand right here. This is going to be the field. So, so far, not bad. Like I said, you can still play with this. This is still playable. Um, so, in order for you to go through it, now what you're going to do is you're going to take these two. And you're going to Synchro Summon for your copy of Boreas the Wicked Wind. Alright, you're going to activate Boreas's effect. This is going to put your... Steam the Cloak into the graveyard, because that's important in the deck. Steam the Cloak will go to the graveyard, and this will make it a level 4. Okay, so now you're probably thinking, well, then what do I do? Because now I actually don't have a way to play any of the cards in here. Well, that's not entirely true. You can play, go ahead and play your Twin Shadow. Twin Shadow will allow you to put back Vata this, to the, and this will allow it to shuffle back in the deck. To special summon your copy of Nothum the Starlight. So you actually do have them not from the starlight now. Now from there, you're going to tribute this guy. And this is going to bring back Steam the Cloak. Okay. Then you're going to take Nothram and Oroshi, and you're going to synchro summon for your copy of Obsidian Tamer Hawk Joe. Okay, now you got Tamer Hawk Joe's effect. Go ahead and activate his effect. Bring back your copy of Boreas the Wicked Wind. Alright. Now, what you're going to want to do is you're going to take your steam. And you're going to take your Aro uh, Black Wing Assault Dragon. Actually, no, I can't even do that. You're going to take this. And this. And this is going to go into your copy of... Full Armor Master. And then you can take this and this. And this will go into your copy of... Blackwing Assault Dragon. And then obviously since it left the field, you do get a token. So, let me grab the token real quick. Alright. And then you can set your Infinite Imperm. So, that's going to be the field for that. Obviously, it's not the strongest, but um, this is pretty much, you know, what you're able to do considering the hand was you didn't have a whole lot. So, now we're going to go into the third and final test hand. Alright, we're going to go into the third and final test hand for that one. All right.
right, let's shuffle the deck. draw the five cards three four five and we're going to shuffle place it down all right so that is an very very optimal hand um <laughs> that is a very optimal hand all right so now we're get what we're gonna do is you're gonna start off by having simoon you're gonna activate its effect banish the other simoon which will then allow you to play your copy of black whirlwind directly from your deck all right then you're going to normal summon Psy Moon with its effect. You're going to activate Black Feather War or Black Whirlwind's effect. I keep wanting to call it Black Feather Whirlwind. And then you have Sudri. Then you add Sudri to your hand from there. So now you're going to normal summon Sudri. And then you're going to activate Black Feather Whirlwind's effect. And Sudri's effect simultaneously. So this is going to add... We're going to go add Gale for the effect of that, and then Vata for the effect of Black for the Whirlwind. All right, so now we got that. So now you're going to special summon v uh, Vata with its effect. You're going to discard your Shamal, and Shamal's effect is going to activate. This will let you to play Black for the Whirlwind directly from the deck. Now you're going to banish, or not banish, you're going to tribute Vata. This is going to send Zephros the Elite and send a Mart in the Dust from the to the graveyard to special summon your copy of Blackwing Dragon. So you got your copy of Blackwing Dragon, and then you have Black Feather Whirlwind's effect will activate. This will allow you to have your Vata come back with its effect. Then you're going to bounce back Black Feather Whirlwind to Special Summon Zephyrus the Elite. And then you're going to replay Black Feather Whirlwind because you are going to need to. So here from here, this is going to be your... This is the board that I was talking about, the field th that you want to have and is very easy to make. So from here, they haven't Nibiru yet. So what I'm going to do is... Okay, now I'm going to take... Uh, I'm going to take Vata, the Emblem of Honor, and I'm going to take Sudra to the Graveyard. And this is going to special summon your copy of Boreas. And then Boreas effect will activate. And in return, they're gonna be like, okay, well then I activate Nibiru's effect. So you do get the you do get the effect first, which will allow you to get Steam. Steam will go to the graveyard. And then, oh my god. Boom, 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 boom. They just got rid of everything. What do I do? What do I do? So instead of playing Zephyrus the Elite, actually go ahead and keep this in the graveyard. So the field would have been the other monsters minus Zephyrus the Elite. So now you got to keep him in the graveyard. And then they have to give you a Nibiru token. Okay, that's fine. You tribute the Nibiru token to go into Steam the Cloak. Um, and then what you can do is you can activate the effect bounce back up uh, Black Feather Whirlwind to Special Summon Zephyrus the Elite. That was actually partly my fault. Then you're going to take these two to the graveyard and you're going to Special Summon your copy of Obsidian Tamer Hawk Joe. So now you get the effect of Black Feather Whirlwind since you did play it. Then that'll get you a copy of, it doesn't really matter, we'll go with Vata for now. Special summon your Gale. Okay, and then since Steam was used as a Synchro Summon, you actually did get the token. So then your field is going to look like this. Now you can take the effect of this effect. You can add Obsidian, or not Obsidian, Boreas. So now you've got Boreas. You're going to take these two and you're going to link for your copy of... Oh, you're going to take Boreas and the token, and you're going to go into your copy of 
Blackwing Armor Master. So now you have your two rank sevens. Now you can overlay the two rank sevens for your copy of Kaliuga. Not Kaliuga, uh, Arsenal Falcon. Then Arsenal Falcon, you'd attach a material. Obviously, you special summon a level four from the deck. Okay, and then you take these two. You'll take Vata and take Blackwing Gale or Whirlwind. You take Send and then Graveyard. This will special summon Y Strix. All right, now you got Y Strix. Y Strix let you spe let you special summon a monster from the deck. So we'll just say you special summon your copy of Blackwing Sand the Sandstorm. Okay, so now what you do is. You have this, Y Strix, you're gonna take Y Strix and you're going to take Sudri and you're going to send these to the graveyard. This is going to allow you to special summon your Rusty Bard each. You're gonna activate Rusty's effect, which will get you your copy of Rank Up, which will be face down. And then this will put Raider's Wing into the graveyard. Okay, so now you have that. Then you can special summon your Raider's Wing back from the graveyard by getting rid of your last material. Now you've got your Arsenal Falcon right here. You're going to send these two to the graveyard. This is going to make you have your copy of Borload Savage Dragon. Activate Borload's effect. This is going to let you have... Y Strix, you're going to attach Y Strix to it as a material, so now you have your two negates. Um, and then you're going to set your rank up. Then what you can do is you can go into your copy of Black Wing Assault Dragon, and there you go. Just using with Nibiru, even with Nibiru, you are able to go into Borlod Savage Dragon, Arsenal Falcon with rank up, and then your Black Wing Farmer Master with Rusty Bardich and this. So I'm just going to move that over there just that way because they can still negate that. And then if by some small chance they're still able to get up around you, you have your side frame for uh, next turn if they end up getting rid of everything off your field. So obviously Nibiru is not a problem for the stack, uh, just depending on also what you draw. If you get if you draw like the one hand that I had the second turn, which was like just absolutely awful, there's really no play, way to play with that hand except for like set one pass or something. So all right, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you learned something a little bit from it. Um, I do apologize for the last video, the last turn that I had. I meant to not bounce back and play Zephyros the Elite right away. You want to make sure Zephyros is in the graveyard because you're going to need him to be able to synchro summon for using him and Steam the Cloak to go into your copy of Obsidian Tamer Hawk Joe and then continue to play from there. So with that, thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Later.